Hello, this is Dean Malone with Compass FX. Hope you're doing well today and again some good trades. Today we had a particular chart pattern we don't often see in the marketplace. It's not one of the strong patterns we normally want to trade. It's often referred to as a mediocre trading pattern, but it's a pattern nonetheless, and we look to trade off of the pattern once it completes. And this is referred to as a rounding top pattern. And what you see here is this move up and it kind of looks like it's going into a bullish pennant type formation then it just kind of falls over and the price action channel the two yellow lines here illustrate the rounding effect of a rounding top pattern so how do we trade this once it completes uh, you look for more times than not a bounce back up about a 38.2 maybe even a 618 but more times than not it fails to get back up to the top here and makes a move back down. Usually a rounding top starts from a range, makes its move up and over and back down and then falls back into a range. The market tries to make a push up, try to get back up to where we were at, but then falters and falls back and more times than not we see it dip below the range. So remember this, with a rounding top we go from a range we'd have the rounding top then back into a range and there's no real significance of direction here as if the market attempted to make a move one way couldn't sustain the move saw about the same amount of energy to the upside as to the energy to the downside so it's almost a wash that's why they often refer to as a mediocre trading pattern so let's break it down though let's take a look at how we can analyze this and make a logical trading approach from this point forward I simply look at this from a range perspective. I have these highs, these lows, so more or less we have this range here. And so we get a start on this pattern right in that area, somewhere right in that area right there. That's when we kick off. That's when we break out of this range. Now we take a look at the top of the pattern. Now you can go to the extreme high, but I have a tendency more or less just to look at the average high. The average high looks to be right in this area because we have multiple highs here. here here there's three four five six seven multiple highs right in that area now I'm taking an approximation here but you can get right to the pip if you want to do that so what we do at this point is I simply run the fibs now I like to take the normal fib retracement and run it in reverse and look for the extensions off of that so I'll take the fib retracement tool and go off this low up to the high more or less and let's look to see what takes place. Now I like to look for a 127.2, a 141.4, and then potentially to a 1618 extension. And look what took place today. As the market came down, it went back to this range area here and came down to this low point here completing the bottom of the range. But it also after breaking the top of the range here, that would be our low point of the rounding top, we break that and we fall right into the 127.2. It pushes on down and we bounce from the 141.4 back up to the 127.2, back and forth. Now, if this is a weak attempt to the upside and the market looks for more movement down, then we'll look for a move back down and to hit that 1618 and look for some other patterns. What could set up here, though, is kind of a double bottom effect off the 1618 an attempt back up but like I said oftentimes with the rounding top we go from a range back into a range now in the event the market starts pushing back to the upside then what we're going to look for here is that retracement okay and you can simply turn the fibs back around like I had here and we'll look for those retracements here we look for about a 38.2 retracement potential for it to get to and then we look for the potential 618 retracement. If it looks like that it's going to break through those and continue making a high point, that small chance that it continues making its push up above the average high here, then do the same thing on the top side. We look for the 127.2, the 141.4, and eventually back to the 1618 level. Now this is all technical you have to look at the fundamentals of the marketplace, what economic reports are coming out, what are the central banks doing that might have an impact on the currency pair that you're trading. But these are things to consider when you trade a rounding top. 
So again, look for this range where we started off from. Run your FIB analysis and look for a break uh, above. Look for the break below. More times than not, though, you'll probably get the break to the downside. If the market overall is weak, this was an attempt up, couldn't do it, and it turns and falls back over. Look for it to push back down. In the event though we do get a retrace, look for the market to retrace potentially back to about the 38.2. Okay, now also I would suggest look at any psychological levels, and we're running into that over here. If you'll notice the 23.6 and the 38.2, well, literally if we look at what's in between they're right about 32 percent that puts right at the 137 so that would be a barrier that it have to break to continue making a push up okay and also consider your oscillator like the TDI here you can see the markets way down below and came up hit the market baseline which is down here around the 32 level and it looks like it may try to push down a little bit more but I would expect a push back up if it doesn't get above the previous range. It creates a new range here, then wait for a common range breakout. Let's just take a quick look at the pound dollar and see what took place with it today. Same look here. Again, we have a range coming out of a range. I take the break of the range. I run it up to an average high. You can see here we hit this high point one, two, three, four times, almost hit it a couple of times right there. So that's about 60.90. The range high here was around 59.43. And these are my FIB uh, extensions above if we break to the upside. These are my FIB extensions below the break. And obviously these are the retracements here, a 38.2 retrace and a 618 retrace. All I'm simply trying to do here is lay out a logical plan, trying to be neutral as to what will the market potentially do. Now the question might be, how do you trade it before it drops down? Well in this case, with this push up, most folks are looking for either a bullish pennant, which would be a push up, or a bullish flag. Well, you've got to consider the time element here. How long have we been going sideways? If a pennant or a bullish flag continually goes sideways, you're going out of that chart pattern and you're going into a range pattern. But notice that we don't make higher highs and the highs start getting a little bit lower and the lows here in this area start trickling back down towards this low point here, past this low point here, and we get that rounded effect again, a rounding top, and we make a move back down. On the break of the midpoint here, you simply would trade it back down to the break of the range. So this is how a rounding top pattern works out. This is how we trade it from this point forward. As you can see today, in this example on the pound, we went back down the top of the range that we started out. I'll lay it out right here. You can see what I'm talking about here, about that range. And you can see how the market kind of hit the top of that previous range, and we bounced around, and we we're pushing down, and we're meeting those 127.2, 141.4 levels with a potential push if we break out of this range area here, a possible push down to that level right there of the 1618, putting us down around the 158.50 level. Well, folks, this is Dean Malone with Compass FX. I hope some of the information here about trading a rounding top pattern will help you in your trading. Y'all make it a good day. Get some good trades. We'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.